it is so pretty out right now. Brave the, the winter conditions up there. It is indeed snowing, but there's the foliage over there. It has been an adventure. It's always an adventure. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm taking you guys hiking to see the foliage. It has peaked this weekend. It is just so gorgeous, so I'm very excited to go hiking. I have something very exciting to open first. Dirtbag Gypsies very kindly sent me this flag. I'm very excited to open it. I've been waiting for like a week because I wanted to do it on video for you guys. And I'm gonna bring it on my hike and we're gonna have a little photo shoot. First, we have some stickers. I can't wait to put these on like, I don't know, a water bottle, a notebook. Oh, I love these. Oh, this is so cool. I cannot wait to take this hiking and take some pictures, so let's head out. Hopefully we can beat the crowds and get a parking spot. We're on our way over and we just looked at the radar so it is going to like rain or snow but it is so pretty out. Hopefully we don't get like soaked or whatever but yeah you can see that it's like it's raining a little bit here but like definitely some precipitation happening but I'm very excited it is so pretty out right now. We're on a quest to find a mountain where it's not raining, hopefully with a view so I can take some good pictures and so we can see all of the foliage. So we're heading west, the rain band is like moving across the state and basically everything in the whites is getting rain or snow right now. It would be nice to see snow but I don't want to be rained on the entire way up so let you guys know when we find some sort of a hike that we can do today. We're just setting off on the trail now. We had a change of plans. We originally thought we were gonna do a 52 with a view and just like some short hike, probably like five or eight miles. Instead, we decided to come over to Musilaki actually because it's like the only area that's out of the rain at the moment. So thankfully it's dry here. So we are hiking up the Beaver Brook Trail, which is the AT, which is one of the terrifying 25. On the terrifying part, it was that steppy thing back there. That will not be fun going down, but it's really pretty. We've been following this cascades is what they called it the whole way so far. I think we're a little over a mile in and it has been pretty steep, so I'm definitely getting a little tired, but I think it'll be really pretty. We do have a little bit of a view here.
So we made it to a more flat part, which I'm happy about because I was getting a little tired of the steepness. It's like really steep and slippery for the first like almost two miles of the trail. So it's nice to have some like dirt, not rocky stuff to walk on. But yeah, I'm getting a little chilly actually. We've been seeing people coming down with like complete winter looking gear basically. So I'm glad I have a lot of layers to put on once you get closer to the top. I'd imagine pretty soon we will be going up again, but it is nice to have a little break. We had our first spotting of ice right here. Look, I don't know if you guys can see that ice falling out of the trees. So we are going to get pelted. It is getting pretty chilly out. So our trail, because it's a terrifying 25, you don't have to hike whatever mountain it's on. You just have to hike all the way up the trail. So still debating whether we're actually going to go up to the top or not. I've been up this mountain a few times, so it doesn't matter if I do go up the top or not. But we've been seeing people going by that are like really cold looking. So, you know, shoulder seasons can be tough with the weather and knowing what clothes you have to bring. I think I brought adequate clothing right now. I still have two more layers, but I'm not sure if I will want to brave the, the winter conditions up there. So we made it to our turnaround point and we just turned around at our sign. So we did the whole trail. So we completed the challenge for today's hike. We didn't want to continue because first of all, it's getting cold and there's already ice here. But also we set out to hike today to see the foliage. We were not setting out to experience winter weather. Here, look, it's like snow and ice on the ground. <laughs> eh, dripping on me. I think it's about four miles back to the car. It's a little bit of down, then it's quite a bit of flat, and then more down, and we're back. Let's put it right side up, though. That's why it's blank. <laughs> Down a little. I don't know if you can see, but it is indeed snowing, but there's the foliage over there. It is bouncing back and forth between raining and like sleeting at this point, but the trail is like really wet. I'm hoping it's not slippery farther down, but all trail says we still have a mile and a half left, which it is the hardest part, but I think it'll be fine. But the pack covers have come out because I do have some camera gear that I don't want to get wet while I'm on my way down. But like, can you guys see this sleet? It's kind of a lot, but we do have some pretty colors over there which we didn't see much of this hike. I think we made it down the hardest part, but it is like definitely raining now. I am getting pretty wet, it's soaking through, but we're almost done. I think we probably have like a half mile left or so, and the bottom part is not tough at all. It has been kind of slippery being wet with like the moss and the rocks, but like, yeah, you can see I'm getting pretty wet. But it has been an adventure. It's always an adventure.
That was yeah, quite a hike. hike. We made it. <laughs> I'm tired and hungry and kind of kind of wet, but that's okay. Cuz we have extra clothes and a warm car. Yay! Yay!